Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habata fillah I was just reflecting about what we see and hear from a lot of the youth about the Salafi Dawa and the negative statements and so many people reassessing and in fact believing that the Dawa will end. But in fact, when you think about it, the short period of time that we have on this earth and those individuals who have done many negative acts in the name of the Salafi Dawa, that they'll be forgotten. They had their time, they had their fame, they had the things that they received in this dunya, perhaps wives, perhaps wealth, perhaps feeling good about Hizbiya, feeling good about being with a clique and a crew and a group, and perhaps even through fame. And with that being the case, it's temporary. Because without ikhlas and thabat ala sunnah, which are the pillars of Salafiya, none of that will mean anything. The Prophet Sallallahu said, لا تزال طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين على الحق There won't seem to be a group of, from my nation that is on the truth. They're going to be mawjood. Ahl sunnah will be mawjood all throughout time. They will be present all throughout time with or without us. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said in another hadith, he mentioned about the importance of sincerity to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And that many people, that the first three on the day of judgment will be raised, one of them is someone who fought fi sabilillah, or they said they fought fi sabilillah, but they fought and they were martyred. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise them and say, you know, what have you done? Basically, what have you done for my sake? And he'll say, Bataltu fika hatta stushid. I fought for your sake until I was killed. And Allah will say, Kadab, you lied. But rather you did it so that the people would say that you were, uh, you know, brave. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَقَدْ قِيلْ فَقَدْ قِيلْ And it was said. So the thing is, is they got their reward in the dunya. And likewise the alam and the one who taught the Qur'an. And they did it so the people would say that they were knowledgeable. And they did it so the people would say that they were uh, an alam and that they were a great reciter. And Allah will say, فَقَدْ قِيلْ And it was said about you. Meaning that they got, they got their jaza in this dunya. And the Salaf used to say that this world, a dunya dar al amal wa jaza wal akhira dar al jaza. That this life is the time for doing deeds. And the le next life is the time for reaping the rewards of what you did in this life. So the one who tainted the message of Salafiyah and distorted the message and qawaid, you know, the principles and the usul and the foundation principles of Salafiyah for worldly profit to become famous, to become heard of, to become, to, to marry women, to, uh, you know, all the other reasons to gain wealth to collect things, to be famous amongst Hizbis, then that's what they'll get. They'll get that in this dunya. But that does not give us reason to doubt or flee from Salafiyah because Salafiyah is da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah. As our Sheikh Imam Muqbil said, da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah, da'wah to min kitabi la ila kitabi la wa min sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ila sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah is the da'wah from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah and from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who 
adhere to the Dao to Ahlul Sunnah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with a bad and protect us from kulli su wa makru wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.